Have you got a customer retention program to help supersize and grow your business? Sharon Hornell from here. Again, another one of my favorite top supersizing strategies for building and growing and supersizing my business and the businesses of the people that I work with is a customer retention program. I don't know how many times that we've all heard the life, the importance of the lifetime value of a customer and the vast majority of business owners to this day do not have a clue what a customer is worth to them. So they chase after and they throw money after advertising and put and invest in, or I consider it flushing money down the toilet in a lot of things that don't do anything but always churn and get new customers. And it is far, far less expensive to keep and retain a customer than it is to get a new one. There's been tons of studies done on it. Anybody that's been in business any amount of time knows that you've got a core group of people that are your raving fans and they are your most valuable customers. They will tell you what's working, what's not working. They are your best source of information about how to improve and grow your business. And so you want to treat them like they're as important as they are because they are really the rock stars of helping you grow and build and supersize your business. We don't do anything in a vacuum and we certainly don't build our business on our own. So we need to take care of the people that help us build our business. And those are our most loyal customers. So what is our four-step process for doing this? Number one, identify key touch points for your customers. Determine where customers interact with your organization or with your brand or with your business and prioritize those touch points, right? Customer service. I still to this day cannot believe how many people have little or no systems in place for dealing with customers at the customer service level. When someone's got a problem or a question about your product or service, that is your first line of defense. It's not throwing all your money after sales and and pounding people with messages and things and marketing and advertising. It's answering their questions, their specific questions, because guarantee if they've got a question or a concern or a problem or a challenge, a lot of other people do that aren't bringing it up to you. So number one, identify the key touch points. Number two, create a loyalty program. Loyalty programs can be anything and anything and everything that you want. Anything you can imagine has probably been some sort of a loyalty program. There's some big famous ones out there. Uh, they change over time because they get expensive for businesses and they forget why they started them in the first place uh, is to reward the people that do business with them the most business, the most often, the most frequently, and stay with them the longest, etc. Uh, but we can create uh, loyalty programs to, by developing incentives. We can have special offers. We can have rewards, VIP benefits uh, for repeat customers, things like that. Uh, we're limited really only by our imagination, but we want the rewards to be something that's valuable to the customer, not necessarily to us. And in our opinion, but what makes them feel important, valued, and is something that really benefits them. Step three, personalize your communications. Nowadays, with the internet, there is no excuse for not personalizing our communications with our repeat customers, with our VIP customers, with our most loyal customers. It's as simple as setting up different email campaigns and email strategies. And you can preload and pre-do all that with technology that's available for very inexpensively these days. Uh, but we want to tailor those. And we also want to remember that one of the things that we can do that's really easy is to provide exclusive offers just for the different groups of people and different groups of customers that we have. And finally, step four is, again, feedback and improvement. We want to be continuously improving our systems, listening to people. You know, we might pick something that we think is a good reward for people, and it falls flat on its face because it's not something that they're interested in. We want to learn from that and then replace that with something that is something that they consider valuable. So that's our four-step simple strategy for today. Share in the comments below if you have got a loyalty program, if you've used it, things that you've used in the past that work or Share the things that didn't work, right? So that we can learn from one another's mistakes. And again, keep in mind, it's always, strategies always have to be tailored to your business, who you are, your goals and values, mission, purpose, principles, et cetera, and how you want to make the world a better place. All right, that's our, our sixth strategy for today. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with number seven of our top 20 supersizing your business strategies. Have a great day.